Hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be returning to the wonderful world of Jacques Demy in his 1961 debut film, Lola. This is part one in a... This is not part one, this is part two. This is part two in a series of three we're doing on interpretations by auteur directors of the subject of Lola, a dancer, a courtesan, a cause celeb in all of its wonderful iterations as interpreted by Max Ophuls, Jacques Demy, and Rainer Werner Fassbender. Uh, this film is the debut of Jacques Demy. It stars the inimitable, absolutely gorgeous, irrepressible Anouk Aimé as the titular Lola. This is an another opportunity to revisit Jacques Demy. Jacques Demy has been uh, one of my favorite discoveries, if not my favorite discovery, since uh, starting this channel, which is a weird thing to say, because I, because I, I started watching like Celine Sciamma films on this channel. Uh, what can I say? Jacques Demy hits a very specific sweet spot for me. And so yeah, let's watch Lola, Lola. And before we get started, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Lola copyright Mathieu to me. <laughs> Again, as a tribute to Max Ophuls. <laughs> and again, the beautiful, dreamlike, kind of steady, quaint uh, camera movement of Jacques Demy. It feels very kind of peaceful, languid. Music by Michel Legrand! I have a CD of all of Michelle Legrand's collaborations with Jack to me, and it's just like, just fills my heart. One of the most fruitful director um, composer collaborations I can think of. It's certainly my favorite. The Bayside Town, Bayside's feature heavily in Jack Demy's works. He grew up in Nantes. And it, it informs a lot of his works. I think uh, Rochefort's obviously a seaport town. I think. Um, Bay des Anges as well. Jamais pu arriver à l'heure. Au fond, ce que j'aime par-dessus tout, c'est la liberté. Les gens m'ennuient, la ville m'ennuie, la province m'ennuie. <laughs> and this is uh, Marc Marcel, who plays the same role later on in um, Umbrellas of Cherbourg. Uh, Roland Cassard. Oh, j'ai reçu un coup là. Ça montre. Mais non, je viens de le voir. Mais qui Michel. Le folle. Mon fils, Monsieur Roland. Donne-moi un cognac. Donne-moi une cognac. Vous croyez aux significations des rêves, n'est-ce pas mm -hmm. Non Eh bien, moi, j'y crois. Cette nuit, je l'ai vue. Dans une voiture de rêve. Une apparition. Les mille et une nuits. This is kind of a thing that I've I've noticed, at least a recurring kind of motif in Demi films, is that a, like a beautiful apparition returning in a car. This is, a, of course, most readily apparent in, um, in Umbrellas of Sherbrooke. Michel était honnête. Alors il a aussi abandonné sa femme. Il a laissé une pauvre fille dans le besoin qui doit faire des ménages. Je dis bien des ménages. Une fois moi aussi je partirai. Vous êtes encore là. The dream to disappear. Qu'est-ce que je vous ai fait? Mais effet que vous êtes un paresseux. Et que je n'aime pas les paresseux. Je vous souhaite. Au revoir madame. Au revoir monsieur Roland. Casa. I love this theme. This is genuinely my favorite theme throughout all of Demi and Legrand. I know that's a weird thing to say, but I love Roland Cassard's theme. It's just so romantic. It's so you're like yearning and sad and bittersweet and just so gentle. Ooh, are we gonna have a movie watching in a movie? Cut to the montage. Gary Cooper. Ah, uh, the signs for the dancers, the cabaret dancers. There she is! Ah. All these fun little sides, these askance looks. Already to me, like, knowing that he enjoys editing towards, like, a musical beat. And the camera just going with it. I love his camera work. It's a kind of it's a camera that kind of despises too much staticness. Or if the static um, elements come, it's it has to be like it has to be on a kind of an important moment. Oh Jesus! 
Too spicy! Look at this girl! Oh my god. Brunette temptress of my dreams. <laughs> okay, so Lola is the woman who was abandoned years ago by um by by the woman's son by Marcel. Ah, oh, she looks so good. Jesus. Sixties Anuk Aime. Unsurpassable. And in kind of a Frank in Frankie, we see the kind of uh, archetype that would carry on into um, Maxence, Maxence, and Young Girls of Rochefort. The physicality of Max, uh, the physicality of Maxence, or of Frankie, and the personality of Roland, and you get Maxence. This movie's gonna be too spicy for me. Excuse me, madame. J'ai suivi bien malgré moi votre conversation. J'ai chez moi un dictionnaire français anglais dont je ne me sers plus. Et si vous voulez, we have another. I mean, there's no indication that this woman is uh, doesn't have a husband, but we have two uh, women with uh, like single mothers with children. Je ne voudrais pas abuser de votre amabilité. Eh bien, monsieur, j'accepte. J'ai eu il y a longtemps une amie d'enfance qui s'appelait Cécile, mademoiselle, et qui vous ressemblait. Nous sommes perdus de après la guerre, exactement. Et votre nom brusquement m'a fait penser à elle. Is so 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 weird. I mean, it's in the cap, the cap set, the set cap push, pesh, the cap set. It's in the Seven Deadly Sins as well. Um, but uh, seeing Jacques Demy light with like conventional, like um, IRL or documentary style lighting because his style becomes so controlled after this. The guy who left me. Just like in uh, Young Girls of Rochefort as well. That happened to, um... Um... His, his name's like a pun. The one that uh, Michelle Piccoli played. Monsieur Dom. Tu ne reviendras plus en France? Peut-être. Je ne sais pas. Couples, people, couples separating, people leaving people, all over Demi's stuff. Comment regardes-tu comme ça? Plus rien, pour te regarder. Demain, je viens de te. Sailors going papier. back to America, men traveling off to the war, people leaving for America or Mexico. Je vais partir. J'étais au cinéma cet après-midi. J'ai vu un film avec Gary Cooper. A retour du paradis. C'était beau, les gens avaient l'air heureux. Arizona. Au 14 ans. Je ne me pas dans quel cinéma, je me dans quel pays. Etats-Unis. Ah, Matareva. C'est une île du Pacifique du côté de Tahiti. Au cinéma, c'est toujours plus beau. Quoi Au cinéma, c'est toujours plus beau. C'est la vie, c'est pareil. Non. Well. Je pense qu'il est inutile d'insister, vous ne comprendriez pas. Nous sommes trop bêtes. The character is very, very, very different from the one in... Um... Umbrellas of Sherberg, he's so, so settled in Umbrellas of Sherberg. And it's kind of like his personality is transferred into a uh, Guy. Although I don't really think Guy is very much like this version of Roland Cassard. But the, that kind of youth, that kind of um, a desire for, or idealism. Monsieur Favigny, le marchand de chaussures, est venu hier. Il cherchait quelqu'un. Il une histoire de coiffeur, mais j'ai pas très bien suivi la conversation. A lot of kind of like older ladies, like um, matronly or maternal figures in these. Ooh, he's in the. Uh, there's Lola. Yeah, he's in the sh uh, Bien, the marketplace. Excusez-moi, je vous ai pas fait mal. Non, mais vous auriez pu. Roland, Roland, tu ne me reconnais pas. Cécile. <laughs> oh. Ça par exemple. The Cécile of his past. Je peux pas savoir quel effet ça me fait. Tiens, je tremble. Si, si, je te jure. Oh, j'ai comme un frisson. Je t'embrasse, je suis trop contente. Oh, attends, je t'ai mis du rouge. Ça fait au moins dix ans qu'on s'est pas vu. Plus, depuis la guerre. Après, on a dû se rencontrer un jour comme ça très vite. Mais c'est tout. She was almost oh, non, married to the guy that uh, attends, Jean was talking about. Jean's son. Si peu, tu sais. 
Tu vas par là ou par là Parce que moi, je par vais là. par là. Ah, absolument qu'on se revoit. Quand tu veux. Là, je suis pressée. J'ai couru les magasins. J'emmène le petit au cours. Je t'embrasse. Ah, je t'ai mis du rouge Non. Oh, pardon. Ah, ce soir. <laughs> okay, the first real's ending now. I think I, I just want to collect my thoughts a little bit. Can I pause the three, two, one? Pause? Yeah, okay, so just, just to, to briefly touch on, yeah, there's just a lot of kind of through lines or connections we'll see kind of um, spin out or develop across his later works. Not that I've seen all of his stuff, but just some of the ones that I have seen. So um, yeah, there's there's a, so much, so much in Jack to Me is about misconnections, most kind of perfectly expressed in uh, Umbrellas of Sherberg. Characters meeting and crossing paths and uh, meeting again if fates will allow them and so we we kind of see this construction it's like dark version and it's light version both in umbrellas of sherberg and uh young girls of rochefort the sad version in Umbre Umbre umbrellas of sherberg is that uh people meet each other in this town they fall in love they one of them leaves or both of them leave and they reconnect the years down the line and um perhaps that connection isn't perfect or they've moved on as people and that's sad but that's just something that you have to accept as like the uh the tides and changes of life and the kind of uh, mirror of that the optimistic side of that is expressed in young girls of rochefort where um <laughs> monsieur dom and uh uh oh what was um what was the mother's name she's played by um very famous uh french actress who who also worked with Ophuls. i'm guessing that's why demi wanted to work with her uh, among other reasons of course uh yeah danielle daria played yvonne that's right yvonne um Yvonne and and uh, and Monsieur Dom, played by Michel Piccoli, they were also a um, a couple, and I think maybe also during war wartime, but I, I I can't be too sure of that. But um, Yvonne was scared of taking on the surname of Dom and becoming um, Madame Dom, and so she ended up moving to Mexico and um, leaving. Uh, Monsieur Dom heartbroken, but they eventually uh, reconcile in Young Girls of Rochefort. Yeah, so like, it's it's really funny to kind of see um, all these kind of tropes expressed so early in Lola. Lola, right now to me, almost seems like it's um, if like movies are if each movie is like an individual expression of a certain kind of idea or trope of Jack to me. Lola kind of seems like it's a it's like a replicating machine. It's a duplication machine that has all of the tropes contained in one and just duplicating endlessly all of them in in the sort of chaos that he he may eventually settle out or eventually kind of um draw out to to better expression like uh there's so there's so many coincidences already in this and coincidence coincidence is a big big thing in young girls of rochefort and in some ways in like uh podon as well but uh there's there's multiple multiple couples already um or there's multiple people already that are that feature a sing, single mother and their and their child uh <laughs> and both of the, both of these women have already connected with uh with roland and Roland already has like these two maternal figures in um in the the women at the bar that kind of echo different relationships that characters will have uh, similar relationships that characters will have like uh the characters have with Yvonne later on in Young Girls of Rochefort um as well as like the the relationship that um that Podon has with her fairy godmother and Podon and and the the sailor kind of um representing like an iteration of something that'll be further examined or it um in uh in young girls of rochefort with maxence roland cassard himself being a character that will be further realized in umbrellas of sherberg it's so weird to see them all in this germinating period in the starting point and see how many of them are already things that Demi is already playing around with, experimenting with. I think it's good that it gives him more breathing space as we continue on in his movies. But right now, for me, watching these movies like in a backwards chronology, it's such a powder keg seeing all these kind of ideas realized in one feature. It's kind of like watching uh, Magnolia and just seeing how many stupid fucking ideas, not bad ideas, uh, but like an insane amount of ideas are running around in uh paul thomas anderson's head in that like third movie that he made that are just like everything's 
bursting at the seams. Everything's ready, ready to come flying out of his head. And once he gets it out of his system with Magnolia, you watch him kind of express those seams in uh, a more kind of stable, diffused kind of way in his progressive films. And they become more powerful or more lean expressions of those same ideas and those same themes as a result. This already a lot fucking going on. La part de Monsieur Favigny. Une petite seconde, je vais voir. C'est Monsieur. C'est personnel. Is he going to go on a drug run? Is it going to be a mule? Quoi s'agit-il? D'une affaire délicate, et je vous prierai de ne pas me poser de questions. Vous êtes disponible? Si je n'étais pas, je serais pas. He is going to be a mule. Destination Amsterdam. Okay. Il prendrait l'avion pour Port Elizabeth. Mais qu'est-ce que je dois? Question inutile. Laissez-moi terminer. He, I mean, it's probably diamonds, right? He or or jewels. He is a kind of a diamond trader in uh, in Umbrellas of Sherberg. <laughs> but this is also something, obviously, in his other in Demi's other movies that have a um, an ill-timed voyage, like with the arrival of an apparition. There's also the uh, it's opposite the disappearance. The untimely disappearance. Yeah, it's already so complicated. He's got a package. He also wants to buy a dictionary for uh, this el um, elderly woman and her daughter, while also reconnecting with Cecile slash Lola, while uh, Jean is having a premonition that her son will come back, her son who probably was involved with Cecile. Cecile's also involved with Frankie. So many complications in a fun way. And it's, all right, it's only like a half an hour to the movie. He's a drug mule. Oh, and Cecile is, uh, shares the same name as Cecile Lola. Another aspect of, of Jimmy is also doubles. Madame Desnoyers, c'est bien ici? Oui, monsieur. Cecile, a monsieur. Bonjour. Still got his collar up. Entrez. I feel like this was shot in bulk. I want to check the other scenes to see if his his collar is up in those scenes, in the scenes between this and the other time that he met up with um with with the, this group, because uh, I'm I'm guessing they shot these uh, these scenes between these three uh, together on like the same day, which is why there's like a continuity on his collar. But I don't remember if the continuity is held in in the other scenes, like with him and uh, the uh, hairdresser just before. Yeah, a lot of single mothers. Travel, abandonment, single mothers, poor timing. Je l'ai rencontré tout à l'heure comme ça. Et vous vous êtes reconnu après tant d'années? Oh non, pas moi, elle. Elle est très belle. Peut-être que je ressemblerai plus tard. Peut-être. You're ruining your chances right now. Voulez-vous dîner avec nous samedi, par exemple? Ah, impossible, madame. I have to go on a journey. Je vais de nouveau voyager. On m'a proposé une affaire intéressante. Dommage, eh bien. Mais demain! Venez dîner demain, Cécile aura 14 ans. Demain? Eh bien, oui, volontiers. Eh bien, à demain. Don't make plans that you can't keep. It's so beautiful. Oui, maman. Plus tard, je serai dans ce... Something I just love so much about Jack DeVee films is characters are so open about their hopes, about their dreams. Every frame just expresses a character's just earnest, optimistic wants of the world. It's not exactly that they can't be demure or they aren't demure, but they're so open. They're so lovely, so willing to express their their desires. And then they get caught up in all these kind of like uh, clashes or coincidences or run-ins. Like the young Cecile meeting Frankie. <laughs> ah! The young Cecile not knowing who Frankie is also is something that's expressed in Umbrellas of Sherberg with um with Delphine not and uh Delphine and and uh Solange not knowing who um who, who 
who uh, George Shakiris' character is outside of the school, not knowing who Etienne is. <laughs> Dear little girl, what is your name? My name is Frankie. <laughs> Another double. It's so crazy how many of these ideas are already expressed in uh, an early Jacques Demy film. He already knows what he wants so early on. Madame Frédéric, je peux avoir la musique? C'est moi, c'est Lola, celle qui rit à tout propos, celle qui dit l'amour c'est beau, celle qui plaît sans plaisanter, reçoit sans les dédommager, les hommages, les dommages, les bravos des braves gars, les hurrahs, les... C'est Lola. I love Anouké May. I love that she's presenting this dance for women. Celle qui dit v'la un bateau, v'la un samedi, v'la des matelots. It's such an idea by a gay man, but the idea that she does her seduction dance as a rehearsal in a room full of women, that it, it, it puts all this kind of like objectification, the sexuality, it's all within the hands of Lola. It's all kind of within her own agency. I love the idea of this woman's sexuality as being something like, um, like realize within her own character something that she loves within herself and exhibits as part of her personality and it's not something for the consumption of men it's not something uh, s uh solely for to attract men it's something she, she enjoys doing within herself and doing around her friends this is also I, I it's a regular French phrase I only pick up French phrases because I barely know any French but uh, uh est-il is also a um a line in Umbrellas of Sherberg, I think. Like, played as, like, a musical line. Tous les films de Jacques Demy, les filles sont très agitées, exubérantes, fantaisistes. Et puis elles n'ont jamais de montre, elles sont toujours en retard, alors elles demandent, quelle heure est-il Je t'ai surpassé à la boîte, répété. Ensuite, aller chercher le petit au cours. Les journées passent, c'est fou. Repeatedly having to pick up the kid at school is also something in Young Girls of Rochefort. Il y a du whisky sur la table. Tu aimes Ce sont les Américains qui apportent ça à la boîte. Feeding him the liquor that she got from Frankie. Oh my god. Oh no, je déteste ça. C'est moi plutôt un apéritif. Je ris parce que plus personne m'appelle Cécile. Mon nom de scène c'est Lola, alors tout le monde dit Lola. It's like not a jealous movie. It's not a jealous personality that um that Demi exhibits. There are moments perhaps expressed, especially in Podon, but Oh. It kind of, to a certain degree, characters have to be happy to share the people in their lives with everyone else. I don't think you did. I can't believe how bubbly, how sprightly. Uh, Nook M.A. is in this characterization. It's so, 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 so different from, you know, the archetype she plays in Fellini. This obsession with the sailors. Very to me, very Nantes. Je croyais qu'il m'avait oublié, et puis un jour il est revenu. Il s'appelait Michel. Michel, Michel is the name of, uh, et que je lui ai dit que of uh, Jean's son. Il a disparu. Le il a disparu. Peut-être pas. Il était très gentil. Il me disait je ferais de toi une grande danseuse. 
You see, this is something that I, I, I can't think of more when I think of uh, Jacques Demy characters. Not every Jacques Demy character, but not so um, burdened down by um, neuroticism or self-recrimination, but delusional. Optimistically delusional. He's asking a question that he'll have to answer later on. Why would you leave somebody if you love them? Um, he's going to have to make a decision as to whether or not he stays here or has to make an important trip. And my guess is he's going to have to make an important trip. <laughs> this idea that too much time has passed, that you can't recover the past. <laughs> Is that a common phrase for French at this time? Comparing uh, sadness to butterflies? Peut-être qu'il reviendra. Je sais pas pourquoi. J'ai confiance. Ah, tu comprends? Un premier amour, c'est tellement. It's so true. I love this Lola character. I can understand her being infuriating. As a demi archetype, as a demi character, she's so beautifully realized. Au revoir. Au revoir. This beautiful dancer. You know, the red shoes and all. The one who has to keep dancing. The one who wants to stop but can't get off. Oh, of course, of course, that's, that's, uh, that's Michelle, the guy from the first scene. Go see your mom. Ce soir je pars. On ne se reverra plus. That's life. Ça pour ton fils. Il m'a demandé. Oh, he's such a nice guy. Allez, They're all such parler. nice guys. She's, you know, she's... Oh, she's gonna go meet M Michelle outside. Yeah, it's a difficult tightrope. You have to share... You have to sh share everyone with everyone. Be shared with everyone. But um, she's running... She's, like, walking on a difficult tightrope. Like Lola Montez. <laughs> oh, he left! Right at the right moment. Uh, oh my god. Uh, but uh, she wants to be nice to Frankie because Frankie was kind to her. But she also doesn't want to bring men around to show off to her son, especially like in their domicile. Yeah, love has changed him. He heard everything that she had to say. He saw all the sadness that she was carrying, and he was totally unafraid. If anything, he woke up the next morning and he was more in love. You're gonna go on that trip. I know how this ends, unfortunately. You're gonna see, oh my god! You're gonna see Cecile, you're gonna see her with Frankie, you're going to see her with Michelle. La police. Pourquoi Parce que les inspecteurs sont venus ce matin et je leur ai dit ma façon de penser. Pour moi, l'un des plus importants facteurs de la communication de trafic. On ne vit pas en voisin depuis deux yeah. ans sans observer ce qui se passe. You're going to have to share. You're going to have to share. Mais qu'est-ce que tu fais là Tu pars aujourd'hui Non, je passais. Everybody's bringing gifts for Yvonne. Oh no! Two trumpets! Ah! Doubles, 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 doubles! It's so crazy. To me, knows what he likes so early on. <laughs> Very motherly. <laughs> I, uh, I've i heard that a lot <laughs> growing up. Don't drag your feet. You're going to ruin your shoes. <laughs> it's a very real mom line. That's going to tell you I love you. That I'm going to stay for you. 
Je me suis mis à penser à notre enfance. J'ai retrouvé un tas de souvenirs en vrac. Tout revenait en même temps. Avec toi au milieu de tout ça. Ah Jusqu'à présent, je rêvais. Je vivais de rêve. Mais c'était mal. C'est impossible. J'en suis capable. Ce n'est pas ce que je voulais dire. Je sais que tu en es capable. Mais autant être franche. Je ne t'aime pas, Roland. Et, et jamais je n'aurais pensé que tu puisses éprouver pour moi autre chose que de l'amitié. Pausing in 3, 2, 1, pause. Yeah, just give me one second. <sighs> you have to share her with everyone. Everyone. You can't be selfish with Lola. Even if you wanted to be. Even if you took every other person out of her life, she'd still have her son. And you don't want to resent her son. Ah, what else can we watch? Ah. Have you guys seen Judux? A Franju film from like 1960 something? 1963? It's really good. It's uh it's very, very slick, I'd say. Uh it's it's got this and um and the Irma Vets uh TV show have gotten me interested in checking out the original. We can watch Phantom House. Uh this is like the 60s version with Jean Marais. Oh, look at John Murray. Beautiful, beautiful man. Yeah, I wanted to do this series on, like, um, literary villains. So basically characters that uh, are, like, like, thieves and brigands and murderers. Stuff you'd see in League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen also features Phantomas as a member of uh, the French League. I forgot what they're called. But I thought I had the silent Phantomas series as well. We could watch that. Yeah, Fouillard's Phantomas. Fouillard's, uh, she, he also did, uh, Irma Vap, obviously. He also did, uh, Judex. Udex. Yeah, let's do, um, let's do, let's do two Phantomases. That'd be fun. We do Silence. The, um, Honda or uh, Shinoda film. This is the same text that was adapted by Martin Scorsese in 2016. Beautiful film. Uh, interested to check out the Shinoda film. I watched like part of this, but it's a Japanese film with Caucasian actors, so they can't speak a lick, a lick of English. They're like Russian or some shit. Uh, it's just a difficult barrier of entry to a, a native English speaker. Oh, okay. I guess we should keep watching this shit. Fuck. She doesn't love him. Awesome. Awesome. I love that for Roland. Love that for him. Tu m'en veux? Bon. J'ai toujours eu peur de faire aux gens la moindre peine. Et malgré moi, je fais du mal. Moi qui voudrais tant que tu sois heureux. Que tout le monde soit heureux. Qu'est-ce que tu attends? That's why you make people mad. Moi qui croyais avoir un ami, tu es comme les autres. Je n'ai jamais eu d'amis. He's a nice guy. Un type toujours qui courait après moi. Ah. Rien de plus qu'une autre. Ah. Oh, je suis trop malheureuse. Ah. Je n'en peux plus. Et je suis si fatiguée. Don't make me feel so guilty about it. Tu sais comme je suis fatiguée, tu me tourmentes et partir. Je vais quitter la ville. Again, leaving town. Avec lui. No, qui on my own. Avec l'américain. Oui. Avec l'Américain. Et moi qui te croyais. J'allais rester ici pour toi. Refuser un pont d'or. Pour qui, pourquoi, je me le demande. No! Roland! Excuse-moi. Young people are so dumb. J'oublierai vite, je te le jure. Are so dumb. I'm glad you don't get over her. I'm glad you grow up, Roland. Roland. You're gonna carry her in your heart for the rest of your life, and you're gonna marry Katrine to Dove! I want you to be happy, but I want you to grow up! Je t'aime bien. Bye. 
Adieu, Frankie. Adieu. Hello, Frankie. Hello, Cecil. Une chance, j'ai météor. Je l'avais prêté à Suzanne. Oh, zut, la carte. Y'a Grosse of Rushheart. Tenez, il est à vous. Je n'en peux pas. Bon. Comment va ton anglais? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. Tu as fait des progrès. Comment on dit anniversaire en américain? Birthday. Anniversaire, oh, birthday. Birthday? C'est mon birthday aujourd'hui. On va à la fête? Jacques Tabi loves cars in the way that only like a boomer can, or not a boomer. He's like the generation before a boomer, in a way that only the greatest generation can. Okay, I guess we're doing the Martin Scorsese scene. Je prends le train tout à l'heure avec. Eux. Ce soir, je serai à Saint-Nazaire. Dimanche, à Cherbourg. Après, en Amérique. J'ai comme une grande peine de vous quitter. I'm, it's so hilarious that they're playing out this little drama, this drama of saying goodbye, with this pairing. It's like, it, it's so Jacques to me. It's such a playful interpretation. It's such a kitsch interpretation of the real feelings at the heart of this movie. The pain of saying goodbye. Put it in the most, the softest, the most delicate way possible. The feelings are all there, but don't do it in a way that'll hurt your audience. Mais enfin, ma petite fille, est-ce que tu te rends compte? Un type que tu ne connais même pas. À la fête. Ma fille faisant la fête avec des soldats. She's gonna become her own Lola. Et moi ici en transe. Folle d'inquiétude. Oh, that's another weird doubling. Her story with with uh, Frankie is mirroring uh, Lola slash Cecile's story with Michelle. That's crazy! Jack, you're crazy! And Roland is meeting the young version of Cecile as he met the young version of Cecile ten years ago. Je n'ai plus rien à faire ici, je pars. Cela ne me regarde pas. Ça doit être bien grave. Une femme, madame. You've ruined your chances. Non merci, je ne fume pas. Oh, et puis si, une fois n'est pas coutume. J'en prends une, maman. Tu oh, pas Jesus. Pas. This is what I can watch French movies for, to watch a fucking 14-year-old smoke. Ton... Demain, madame, j'embarque demain. Mais pourquoi elle disait que c'était tellement fort, un premier amour Eh bien parce que c'est la première fois et que après ça ne se représente pas souvent. But it does. That's the thing with Jacques to me. It does. It keeps happening. There aren't first and last chances. Things keep happening again. Just wait, be patient. And maybe by the grace of circumstance and coincidence, you may find this person again. Ah. Parce que moi la première fois, c'est déjà loin. Je vais voir Valentin, je reviens répondre la valise. I don't even know what my first love was. I mean, I do. She looked a lot like a Nook Aime. Diamond smuggling. Yep, it was diamonds. Ah. Oh. Je te demande pardon. Je sais que tu essaies de vivre de la meilleure façon possible et que ce n'est pas facile. Alors, je te souhaite beaucoup de bonheur. Je préférerais partager ce bonheur avec toi. Tant pis. Ah, Tant oui, pis. Je, je voulais te dire. Américain, c'était rien. J'ai couché avec lui parce qu'il me rappelait Michel. Et c'est tout. Everybody sleeping with the ghost of their first love. Un côté enfant comme ça. A memory. Je ne l'aimais pas. A memory. Il est parti hier au soir et je ne le reverrai jamais. Alors je me disais, s'il sait que je pars avec un autre, il me pardonnera. C'est intelligent. Pas très, non. And they just circle, circle around this marketplace. Just keep circling around. And maybe time will stand still. <laughs> Excuse. Oh. Michel, c'était pas du bluff. Non, ce n'était pas du bluff. 
C'est le seul type que j'ai jamais aimé. He's there. Je l'aurais attendu bien sagement. Oh, as good as I could be. Peut-être comme ça. On est seul, on reste seul. Moi, je veux bien. Pourtant, je me disais. It's a difficult question. C'est vouloir. It could be worthwhile to make your life with Rola. But there is something in spending the rest of your life waiting. Avant de te retrouver, je voulais rien. Tu pars pour combien de temps? J'en sais rien, ça dépendra. Type qui m'employait vient de se faire. Partir, mais je sais pas ce que je ferai. Souris-moi au moins. Mieux que ça. She's very, very wise. I mean, it is true, they're never going to meet each other again. But she's very wise. Et quelqu'un? Vous désirez? Tu m'en connais pas? Pardon? Michel! Tu m'en connais pas? Michel! Michel! Jeanne! Jeanne, viens voir, vite! Michel! Oh! Elle est morte! Tu l'as tuée! Comment? J'ai une grande nouvelle à te lancer. I'm married. Non, tu ne vas pas recommencer, laisse-le parler! Maman, je suis riche. Oh, really? Je vais me marier. Je suis venu chercher ma femme. Elle m'attend. To marry Lola. Lola's leaving for Versailles. Oui, j'ai affaire. You're gonna have to catch that boat. Ah! Michel est revenu. Il est parti chercher sa femme, une danseuse. Michel. Une danseuse. Vous nous quittez? I gotta go now. It disgusts me to see everybody else be happy except me. Okay, goodbye forever, Roland. He has a lot of growing up to do. A lot of growing up to do. An unexpected happy ending for Lola? That's the uh, actress from Cleo uh, from 5 to 7, right? Happy ending! <laughs> they don't look happy at all. Papa. He's got two trumpets for you. J'ai tout fait pour t'oublier. Je n'ai jamais pu. Ça ne me parle. J'ai tellement douté de toi. Je voulais revenir, mais je ne pouvais pas. Not until I was mad. Il avait mis kilomètres d'ici. Yeah. Et sans un Make a man out of myself. Make something of myself. Arriva. Oh my God. He was landlocked in the Quand island that <laughs> Gary Cooper was landlocked in, in um, La Retour du Paradis, peu peu. the place that inspires uh, uh, Roland to to find his to find his fortune. Aujourd'hui, je me suis décidé. Et si tu veux, si tu m'aimes encore, Michel, Michel. This bitch ass Michelle? Fucking Michelle? Michelle? Maggie, music! Champagne for tout le monde! Michelle? Imagine if Rory and Dean were endgame. That's what I feel right now. And qu'est-ce que tu as? Doesn't matter. Rien. Another life. I wonder how uh, audiences were interpreted th this ending back in the day. I, I also wonder, like, how Demi intends this ending. Um, for my part, I think that uh, this is something that becomes clearer watching some of his other movies. I think especially uh, in the case of... of... Um, of... of... Uh, of... Um, well, in the case of all of them, but especially in the case for me, uh, with um, uh, the case with Lady Oscar, where overall it's like a happy ending, it's a triumphant ending, but there's that little twinge, there's that little section left that you have to afford for grief or for isolation. The the one person who feels like left out or le is felt uh, is you feel is left shortchanged. Uh, that that occurs at the end of Lady Oscar, obviously with. Um, with the uh, death of uh, Oscar's childhood friend uh, and lover. Um, 
there's there's elements of that to uh, in Umbrellas of Sherberg that it's a mostly happy ending, um, but it's like devastatingly sad for these two participants. Like on the whole, on the macro, they're living good, better, better lives now, and they're both happy and functional and have children and stable. Um, but there's that ounce of regret for the outcome that never can be. Um, so. I think this is meant to be taken as a happy ending, but a happy ending that um, a part of your heart kind of uh, um, scorns or is a little bit spiteful towards because <laughs> you're jealous of because it wasn't it didn't happen to you. Uh, like the earliest one of the earliest sentiments that Roland expresses that uh, life is only beautiful in the movies, that real life isn't beautiful. And he's challenged on, on that idea and doesn't really change his beliefs. And yeah, it ends up happening in the movie that some people have a beautiful ending and uh, Roland does not. Uh, yeah, it was crazy, crazy, crazy watching this film. It just encompasses so many ideas that Jack Demi would express along his, his uh, filmography after this, but just like the amount of, coincidences the amount of doubles in this the amount of um things just aggregating on themselves it's such a punchy witty overwhelming movie um to be like a debut it's just like so vivacious i i loved i loved anuke may's um performance as lola uh just like the girl that just keeps on that has to keep dancing the girl that has to be entertaining the girl who has to um live her life for everybody and care still carries that flame for her first love it's such a beautiful sentiment such a beautifully realized character and to have her play against both frankie and roland um two very sincere but um in some ways innocent characters two characters that um have never like have had to like jostle up against the world or survive or um or really compromise too much and she plays off of them so wonderfully it because like you'd expect it to be uh a clash a clash of wills a clash of ideology that's not how lola manifests behavior at all uh Roland is persistent. He wants to marry her. He wants to reignite the flames of passion of his young love. And Lola, the entertainer, the girl who has to keep dancing, um, has to coax him. And she does that in a professional way, but she also does that in a very, very empathetic way, a way that really sees Roland for who he is and tries to treat him with dignity and with compassion beautiful beautiful character and it's really really fun to uh live in this kind of tension because um roland is our pov character he's kind of our audience insert character and we live so much like or i do i don't know actually how a female audience would uh interpret this movie or how, who they would kind of um uh, uh sympathize with but for a perhaps intended male audience you live so much of this movie within roland's perspective and you feel like heartbreak with him and perhaps you feel resentment with him and uh you don't feel as happy for lola's happiness living from that perspective but roland is so childish in this movie and lola cecile is so grown up and it's like wonderful that even in her um ebullience ebullience and even in her effort even in her effervescence um she's and her worldliness and her uh kind of um her the, the many kind of um consolations and uh compromises she has to make with people around her she's the one who's the most innocent she's the one who carries the flame eternal for her first love and does not compromise on it and is rewarded in the end and i, I don't want to make this like a morality play or anything like who's the most just this is not a movie about justice this is a movie about about first love and staying innocent in it and 
uh, experiencing it. And maybe that experience is giving it up, and maybe that experience is holding out on tight. I think both are valid. I, I, I don't think that this movie is actually um, too critical of Roland. I think in a bubble it might be, but knowing his how his story continues in Umbrellas of Sherberg, I think he'll be fine. And I think he just needed time. And I think he just needed to grow up. And that's just something that I love in Check to Be films, is that um, these characters don't exist in a moment. They feel things in a moment. Crisis or love or opportunity feels like it's a moment in isolation in your life. And part of the joy of Jacques Demy and his filmography is that there's a sense of continuity that these moments of crisis will pass. These moments that feel like the moments that will shape the rest of your life, they may. But if you exercise patience, there will be another opportunity down the road to see where you stand then and make the decision again. And maybe you can get everything you ever wanted, and maybe you can get something different. I just love Jack to me so much. Ugh. Yeah, anyways, check out Lola. Check out all of Jack to me's films. Have yourself a good cry. In the meantime, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. And until next time, keep watching good movies. Ugh.